Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Momenus and today I will review the debut album by the Trash Metal Band Obituary, Slowly We Rot. Yeah, this is like Exodus, A Bond of Blood, which you know I did review um, previous. This is also their debut album, like I said. This is, I believe, a Californian American Trash Metal Band, I'm not sure. You know, Exodus came from, I believe, California, so maybe. <clears throat> Obituary is too. I'm gonna look at it now. If it wants me to click it, my, my whole side is crashing right now, so I cannot do anything. I believe this album was released in 1989, I think, 1988 or something, 1987. My whole fucking side just crashed, so. Or Wikipedia rather, so I cannot look. I cannot look there. Gotta look on Metalstorm. Obituary. Formed in 1984. Broke up in 1997, up until 2003, and then it started again. 1989. Yeah, that's right. 1989. This came two years after. Or well, five years after their formation, so it did take a while, but there you go. They have something. Um, and I always think that this is kind of like a discount version of... Oh wow, um, fucking Scream Bloody Gore by Death. I, I kind of forgot the title. I haven't listened to Death in a while. This kind of sounds like a discount version of, I think, Death's Scream Bloody Gore album, in my opinion at least. I don't, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, you know, it is a pretty great album, so, you know, why not sound like it, right? But it does kind of take the magic away, or it does, you know, sound kind of less inspiring for me, so that is always a thing. Maybe Wikipedia works again, nope. If I go to the site, all my sites crash, so let's just keep it on Metalstorm. And that side crashed as well, so I guess I don't have a track listing right now. I guess I don't have one. Um, well, no. You know, I cannot look at it right now, so I guess I will just keep it brief. And say my things about the album. I think it is a pretty good trash metal album, 1989, so this was still in, you know, peak trash, 80s, you know, 80s was the trash era, so there you go. Um, yeah, and I think this is definitely a great debut for the band. I'm not a huge fan of the album cover necessarily, you know, with the dripping blood obituary logo, which you now is a signature at this point. It was always their logo, so I can't really deny that. I do think it's a little bit too, gen too generic for my taste, but I do think it's still pretty good. Yeah, so can't really say anything about the track listing because my, my size don't want to load, fuck. They really don't want to. Maybe I, should have, maybe I just have to type it in again. Maybe? No. Hmm. Guess I'll grab my phone for a bit, you know. I cannot make it like five minutes like this. Very good. How many tracks are on here? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. There are ten, uh, twelve tracks on this album. It's well, it says forty minutes, but that, that is with demo tracks, so you know that only says how short the album is. So this album is about, I think, 35 minutes. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward, pretty, you know, typical trash metal album. It is, um, you know, ferocious. It's very quick. It's to the, to the point. Uh, don't know, don't do, no. <laughs> My cat is like fucking it up all again. Putting away the camera and shit, fucking on. Yeah. What, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? 
Oh my god, come here. Come here, you little shit. Fucking. Can't you see I'm reviewing a fucking album? Fucking all, man. Oh, you didn't see that. You didn't see that. Gotta listen in one way, so. Oh my god. Why? Why, why are you specifically grabbing that? Can't you see I'm reviewing this album right here? N not that album, but at, le at least the side is working again. Can you stop touching that, please? That was really annoying. He's like looking down like, I, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. Don't do that and I won't be mad, so there you go. Uh, slowly we rot. I can't type it in now, right? Oh, my side is so fucking slow. Slowly we rot. It's not that difficult. My whole side just crashed again, fucking hell. So, um, yeah, I guess, you know, I will read it all here. Um, album cover, not a huge fan of it. It just looks like Lego to me or something like that. I don't fucking know. Uh, shit like that. Um, what do I think of these song titles and internal bleeding? It's a pretty kick-ass opening track, so there you go. Godly Beings was, I believe, was an interlude song or like two-minute song. It doesn't really matter. Till Death was pretty heavy. Tile track was pretty kick-ass. Slowly Your Rod was pretty good. Immortal Visions. I like it, but... I mean, Morbid Angel did this in the same year. I'm not even sure if they did it before this, but they did it way fucking better, so there you go. Gates to Hell, that is a pretty appropriate title. Words of Evil, Two, Suffocation, that's a good death metal band. Intoxicated, yeah, it all seems pretty typical to me. Deadly Intentions, yeah, that's alright. Blood Soaked, appropriate. Uh, Stink Coopers, yeah, I was not a huge fan of the last track, it just kind of like suddenly ended and shit like that. And Stink Coopers, really, like, fuck no. Try, try to at least be a little bit subtle about it, like fucking hell man, Sting Coopers. Yeah, I'm on Wikipedia, I just crashed, so I can't I can look at it. Yeah, I don't, I don't really have any more to say, I, can, I, I guess I can milk it out up until 10 minutes, so... Um, yeah, I would recommend this band if you're into Scream Bloody Gore. I think that all those tracks that I just named are pretty great, except for... I'm not a huge fan of Stinkopus because it kind of ended on an odd note or kind of an abrupt uh, end, which you know I can uh, uh, I can tolerate, I can appreciate, but I think that they just kind of did it poorly. Uh, what else do I think? Yeah, Stinkopus was definitely not the best track, and something else, right? Go Godly beings is that is that an actual track? Yeah, it's near near two minutes, so that's such a fucking that's such an annoying length. Like you're not exactly a song, you know, two minutes, but you know, you're not quite a transition, you know, one minute or shorter. So yeah, I'm not even trying to probably beings either because it's one of those like it's just like just in the middle kind of song. It it's not really a song, but at the same time it is, it's too long for a transition, but it's too short to be an actual song, so Guess I will put that on my least favorites. Um, Stinkopus is bullshit, so there you go. I still think, you know, outside of that, I do think that the production is pretty good. I do think that the album is pretty kick ass, pretty kick ass death metal album. Wait, did I call them a, did I call them a trash metal band? I called them a trash metal band in the beginning, sorry. They are a death metal band. That's why they sound so similar to, uh, to death. To Scream, Scream Bloody Gore. So they definitely kind of ripped this album, or ripped that album off rather, in my opinion. It really sounds similar to each other. But uh, there you go, it was the golden age of death metal, so you know everything kind of sounded the same. Still kind of does this today, so there you go. Um, good album, um, it was a little bit too repetitive for me. The album cover is kind of lame, you know, kind of dumb, but you know, it's a pretty classic death metal album. All the songs are pretty classical, and except for that Godly Beings track and the Stinkopus is bullshit, so... I started that, I really enjoyed it, I'm gonna give it an 8.6, if it sounded a bit more original, might, might slap a better cover on it. But it didn't really matter for Exodus either, so there you go, you know, that album cover blows, but... 
great on. So there you go, like and subscribe to the channel for videos like this one. Let me know what you think about it and peace.